Hi guys. Right, so I've had a request to talk about motivation. Um, this is quite a hard one because motivation is just an obstacle that we all face. Everyone struggles at some point um, and it never goes away. It always comes back again and you have to find that you have to motivate yourself constantly all the time. So I'll give you a few ideas on what exactly, um, what I think you need in terms of motivation, how I go about it, and then you adapt it to yourself. Um, in terms of motivation, I find it really useful to have a goal, no matter what it is. Um, you can have, it could be about weight loss, you want to get into a specific dress for an event, it could be um, a time that you want to achieve on, on a race, or you want to enter something that you've never entered before. Um, it might just be something simple like you want to be able to take part in uh, coaching your son's football team on a weekend and you don't have the everyday functionality that you used to have. Or you don't have the stamina, anything that you want, but you need to make sure that you have a tangible goal that you can go towards and that it's something for you. It has to be your goal. Don't do anything for anybody else. That's not going to get you anywhere. It has to be something you want to achieve. Um, and also think about your long term goal, too. Um, yeah, it'd be great to get into that nice, um, you know, skinny pair of jeans, men and girls. Here I'm talking to um, for that party in four weeks time. But really think about what it is you want to achieve. Where do you want to be in 10 years time? What sort of mindset do you want to have? What sort of example do you want to be leave, um, leaving behind to your children? What sort of it, you know, example, do you want to be setting for yourself? Do you want to know that you've achieved something? Um, it doesn't come quickly. So make sure as well as your short term goal that you've got a long term goal. Um, I find that visualizing really helps any kind of visualization. So um, if it's a, a photograph, if it's even if it's like a little uh, emoji sticky that you stick by your bed and that's to remind you that every day you are going to think of something positive and you're going to get up and you're going to flood yourself with positive energy and that includes doing your workout first thing that's what you need have something that you can actually see and that's going to trigger all of this it's going to remind you each time um that's the next thing you want routine you've got to have routine you've got to have consistency you know this is why fad diets and things like that never work that's why you don't see results within three seconds of doing a workout uh, you've got to have consistency and that everyone loves a routine we are creatures of habit humans and we love to know what we're doing and when we're doing this is why throughout the history of you know going back down back to the 80s everyone loved a good file of facts everyone likes um a diary everyone has a calendar they love to know what it is they're doing and when they are doing it it gives you a sense of purpose so get a routine together example for our boot camps you know that on tuesday at one o'clock and on thursday at one o'clock regardless of whether i'm posting live or i'm standing in front of you doing it or you're going onto youtube or whatever that is when you do your workout, okay? And make sure you do it. You push on through. You always do it then because that means you're going to have something to get up for in the morning, okay? There's a great quote here. I'm very cheesy, so I like to have my quotes. Motivation gets you started, but habit keeps you going. And that relates back to what I said about having your long-term goals as well as your short-term goals. But yeah, if you can keep that routine going, you'll just start falling into it automatically. And you know what the weird thing is? You'll suddenly start getting really antsy. When I started doing early mornings, I just thought this was the worst idea ever now i get antsy if i don't i want to get up even if i don't have a class to teach or someone to train i'm up there and my poor children i'm making it the other day client cancelled so what happened i dragged my son out at seven o'clock we're going for a run because i like the routine and it keeps you going and that's what motivates you so you've got a routine on top of that don't forget you will start feeling once you've been doing this a while you're motivated you've got the addiction that's why it is you get the addiction you know, you love the feeling. It's that great feeling. It's not just endorphins. You might just like the tired feeling of having done something or you'll love the positive feeling that you get from having interacted with other people or achieved something. You know, that's what you need. So you need to have it, whether it be the flood of endorphins or the self-satisfaction. Remember that feeling when you're looking for motivation. Remember how it feels when you've just absolutely thrashed yourself and you feel awesome about it. And also, again, when you've had an achievement, I don't like saying reward yourself for doing something. Um, it's all about an achievement. It's like on a Friday night, you know you've had a cracking week, whether it be work or um, exercise, whatever it is. 
and you have that glass of wine, that glass of wine or that chocolate bar, whatever it is that you have, I'm relating it to food because that's obviously what I like. Um, you've got a sense, you've earned that. You achieved that. And it tastes so much better than the one that you had on Tuesday night because you just felt down in the dumps and you couldn't be bothered. And you just thought, right, well, might as well have it because I feel low or whatever. It tastes so much better. So make sure you do not just reward yourself for it, but give yourself a pat on the back for achieving things. OK, and again, knowing that you're going to get that little pat on the back. OK, that should help motivate you as well. Um, the other thing is make it social. You know, that's why I'm always talking at you. You can't escape the sound of my voice. This is why I'm constantly asking you to... Um, banter and give me feedback on on a group because if you have that you know that someone else is watching you someone else is doing it with you if someone else found those sit-ups hard brilliant good yeah i found those sit-ups hard who hates burpees hell i hate burpees oh don't you misery loves company it's a great thing about being british we love everyone to join in with us so make sure you have someone join in with you get a friend to do it with you get your partner to do it with it get your child to do it with you and tell people Say, yeah, yeah, I have booked in a class. I am doing that session. And then you know that someone's going to turn around and say, oh, how was that session? You don't want to turn around and go, oh, yeah, couldn't be bothered to do it. But no, you've got someone there. I always tell everyone, everyone, about every race I do, because it means that I can't back out. So again, that extra motivation, just communicate. So guys, always leave feedback, always leave comments. I don't care if they're negative or positive. Someone else is going to relate to it. And then you're going to bounce off each other. And that keeps everyone going. And it's fun. Make it fun. Whatever you do, you've got to have fun. Life is too short. So make sure you really, really enjoy everything that is that you're doing, okay? You need to say, yes, I'm going to do this today because even though I hate mountain climbers and everything, or I hate froggers, it's just, it's going to be really good fun watching the person next to me who hates it even more or anything. So just make sure you enjoy it. Put a smile on your face. That's why I always say, smile as well as breathe. Breathing is very important. Um, so yeah, that's that's what I would say. So in terms of motivation, give yourself a goal. Make sure you have a short-term goal, a long-term goal. Think about where you want to be. So you've got a lifestyle. This is all about changing your mindset, okay? It's a lifestyle change and that will add to your motivation. Have a routine, be consistent. Um, enjoy the addiction of it all, you know, remind yourself of how you feel when you actually achieve these things. Give yourself a pat on the back and, and earn whatever it is that you want to earn. You earn that little black dress that you've just bought. You've earned that glass of wine you've just had. You earn that hour where your kid is loving you for playing football with him for an hour. Um, do that. Make sure you, and you keep everyone in with you, you know, get lots of banter, tell people, talk about what you do. Um, you will find geeks out there like me who love to just to talk about anything to do with exercise. Um, you can apply this to every facet of your life as well. You know, it's really important. We get one life, guys. Let's make it brilliant and let's make it fun. It has to be fun. Otherwise, what's the point? Um, so yeah, make sure you keep that interaction and drag other people in with you. Come on. And if you're going down, make sure they go down with you. And if you're going up, then bring them up with you as well. It's the way to do it. Um, right. Just because I am really cheesy, I've got a few quotes for you here. My first, my favourite one, as I've already said, was motivation gets you started, but habit keeps you going. So remember that. I've got a few other ones here. The starting point of all achievement is desire. There you go. I've also got success is the sum of small efforts repeated day in and day out. See, there's a theme coming here. Routine. Keep it going. Um, people often say that motivation doesn't last. Well, neither does taking a bath, which is why it's recommended daily. I love that one. So you've got to do that. So there you go. Hope that helps. I know I've waffled, but if in doubt at any point, give me a poke, give me a nudge, call me up and say, I can't be bothered today. And I will be there full of beans. I'm a morning person, Tigger on speed, Disney tastic, and you know, private message me wherever, and I'll get you out of bed and I'll get you doing it. Um, but yeah, find something for you. Hold on to that, remind yourself, and keep going. And before you know it, you're three, four, five months down the line and you can't be without it. You just can't. All right. Hope that helps, guys. See you for the boot camp. Bye.